even if it's just 15 minutes, man, that communicates to them. You care about them. You want to, you want to hear what's going on inside of them. The whole purpose of, of quality time is that you're showing interest in the other person and that you care about them. Quality time, what, what is it? How do you define it for us so that we kind of, you know, have some rules here? It's giving the other person your undivided attention. There you go. It is not sitting on the couch watching this TV program. Right. Okay. Because we have their attention. <clears throat> Got it. The TV is off, the computer is down, we're not answering our phone, we're sitting on the couch looking at each other and talking to each other. Okay. Or we can be taking a walk together down the road and talking. Mm -hmm. Or going out to eat, assuming that we talk. We've all seen couples in restaurants across the table from each other, both got their phones looking down at the screen. Now, maybe they're finding something they want to share with the, the other mm -hmm. person, that, that's legitimate, but maybe they're reading a text that somebody just sent them. You know, the phone vibrated. Mm -hmm. That's not quality time. And incidentally, when you apply this to children, the child who has quality time is their language, and the parent is talking with them and listening to them, and the parent's telephone rings, and they answer the phone, they just communicated to that child, someone out there is more important than you are. Mm -hmm. If the child's language is quality time, you don't answer the phone. That's what voicemail's for. Mm -hmm. You give them your undivided attention. This is my daughter's love language, quality time. And incidentally on children, you can figure out the love language pretty early by observing yeah. their behavior. Yeah. My son's love language is physical touch. When, I, when he was about four years old, I'd come home from work, he'd run to the door, grab my legs and climb on me. Aww. He's touching me because he wants to be touched. Yeah. Our daughter never did that. She would mm -hmm. say, Daddy, come into my room, I want to show you something. Mm -hmm. She wanted quality time. So whether it's children, the parent child, or whether it's husband, wife, or whether it's a friendship, a close friendship, uh, single adults in their dating relationships, this, this can be very, very helpful. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically quality time. So you, you put some very clear uh, you know, kind of ditches on the side of the road here. Quality time is not necessarily sitting together, flying on an airplane together, riding in a car together, doesn't mean it's quality time or even being in proximity. It has to be communicating one-to-one. -one. Absolutely. Being in the same house, being in the same room is not quality time. Got it. You're exactly right. And I think, you know, if, if you're in a situation where you are on call, you're a medical doctor or whatever, or something, you're on call, yeah, and you're talking to the kid, you, you got to answer. You just say, son, this is important. I have to do this. It's part of my job. You know, explain it to them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think, uh, you know, here's one of the things I suggested uh, for couples who are at home together, you know, stuck at home together, as it were. They say, well, why do we need to sit down and, 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 and talk to each other? Well, I, I, first of all, I say, let's have a sit down and listen time. Hmm. rather than a sit down and talk time. Because when I say, let's sit down and talk, it normally means I have something I want to tell you. <laughs> but if I say, let's have a sit down and listen time, it means I want to hear what's going on in your life. So even though you're in the same house, you still need to have, some, especially if quality time is their language, you need to, I think you need to have a daily sit down and listen time. It might be 15 minutes. So, honey, tell me what's going on in your mind today. What's happened in your, in your work, if, it, if they're working? Or what have you been thinking today? What have you been feeling today? What's, what's going on in your mind? And, and listen to them. And then and let them listen to you. Uh, even if it's just 15 minutes, man, that communicates to them. Mm -hmm. You care about them. You want to you hear what's going on inside of them. The whole purpose of, of quality time is that you're showing interest in the other person and that you care about them. So whatever the setting... Uh, that, that's the objective.